Hello, this is Gio. Hey, look what we have here. We have my latest eBay purchase. It has some clear wrap around it, so let me unwrap it and show you what we have. Okay, here you go. It's out of the wrap. And so what you have here is a 24-pin ATX computer PC power supply benchtop power board module. Or it's basically a breakout board for a computer power supply. And so why do you need this little board? Well, we have here, this is my uh, Thermaltake uh, TR2 uh, 500 watt power supply, computer power supply that you would normally install into a desktop computer. Now, although these particular power supplies are designed specifically for computers, they can be very useful for just generic power. So you have a bunch of bundles of wires here with a variety of connectors which of course connect into the computer. Now these little pins actually can supply let's say 5 volts, uh, 3.3 volts, uh, 12 volts or even negative 12 volts of power. So what a lot of people like to do is when computers get old they like to take the old power supplies out of the old computers, the useless computers, and reuse them for bench testing, circuit boards, and other components. So if you're really into bench testing, you can buy a dedicated power supply like this one This one I have here, BK Precision Power Supply, but these can be very expensive. They can run hundreds of dollars, whereas if you just take an existing power supply out of an old computer, it's essentially free, or you can buy a new one for between $35 to $65, depending on the brand you get. And for most of my testing needs, I just need a dedicated 5 volt or 12 volt power supply. And this, uh, this little uh, computer power supply does very well for that purpose. So back to this breakout board, what does this do for me? Well, this basically takes the 24 pin ATX uh, connector here, which is the main power supply to go to your computer, and essentially breaks it out and lets you plug in directly uh, it gives you, uh, let's see if I can zoom in here, it gives you negative 12 volts, ground, positive 12 volts, some grounds, uh, your, your 5 volts, and your positive 3.3 volts of power. So up until this point, what I've been doing is just taking some little alligator clips and connecting into uh, some of these little connectors here, which uh, I think this, uh, the red here I think is uh, positive 5, I think the yellow is positive 12. So I've been just sticking these into these little uh, connectors and using that as a power supply. But that's not really an elegant solution. So you do see a lot of videos on YouTube of how to convert these computer power supplies into a dedicated bench power supply and that involves taking this case apart, doing some uh, uh, soldering, etc., putting some resistors in, but that that's always been way too complicated for me, a lot of effort, and so I've just been putting these alligator clips in these uh, connectors here. But I just came across this on uh, eBay, and this re is really interesting to me, something you can just plug in, and it's a little more um, user-friendly with regards to connecting power supplies. So we're going to test this out today and see how it works. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button at the bottom of the screen and even consider subscribing to my channel. Okay, so these power supplies do have a number of connectors like, like I mentioned, but what you're after is the large 24 pin connector, which we see here. This particular one can kind of actually break apart, as you can see here, into 20 pins and a separate four, but you want to make sure that that's uh, together, if I can do this with one hand, and so you have the full 24 pins present. And this large connector has all your uh, various uh, voltages, the 3.3, 5, and 12 volt, and negative 12 volt. And you just plug it right into your little board here. So what this board does is pretty darn simple. It's, it's primarily a more elaborate version of my little alligator clips here. It's just basically extending the, the, con uh, the connection from this wire to these little terminals here. So where your 24 pin connector connects into the board, it just uh, sends out some lines here. You look at the uh, back and uh, look at the traces, and the traces essentially just go right to the terminals. They do go through some fuses. Uh, it's supplied by four fuses. 
you do have an on and off switch and you have an LED with uh, a dedicated resistor for the LED. And that is all the components here. It's essentially just a straight wire from your connector to the terminal. Now this does have an on and off switch, which is a little different than your straight wire. But in reality, when you use these computer power supplies as a bench power supply, you normally do have to kind of do a connection between a couple of these lines to get this thing running. Like in back of this, hold on if I can rotate it correctly. So on the back of this power supply, you do have an on and off switch. Uh, now it is, it is plugged in and it's power to the plug. And I turn this on and nothing happens to the fan. Now that's because all these computer power supplies typically are looking for a on and off switch to be switched on and off on your computer. And uh, your 24 pin connector actually has those two lines that when they're connected, it will turn this, uh, th this power supply on and you'll see the fan move. Okay, so when you use these uh, computer power supplies as a bench power supply, and if you don't have one of these breakout boards with an on and off switch, what you would typically need to do for most of these things is actually uh, connect two of these lines. In this case, it is uh, for this, this connector, it's the upper right uh, um, pin here, and then the upper, let's see, four over. So it's, it's this pin here. And this is powered on, and I have a little uh, wire here. And so if I connect that here, to this ground wire here and then connect this right here, you can see the power supply turns on. I remove it, it turns off, I reinstall, it, it powers on again. And that's all this little breakout board is doing. It's just connecting those two wires to this uh, on and off switch and when you move it back and forth, it's just turning on and off this, this particular power supply. Okay, so enough talk. We have our little multimeter here. I'm gonna stick this to volts so I can test every one of these terminals. I'm just gonna simply plug in this 24 pin connector to this connector here, just like that. Make sure it's in far enough. There we go. And clip it tight. And then uh, verify that uh, it is currently off. We turn this on. And yes, indeed, it works, and you get the LED powered on. That seems to work fine. And so we're just going to turn this on, and then I'm going to take my multimeter. Hopefully you can see this. Maybe I could prop it up with something. See, a couple pieces of wood there is fine. And then we just connect. We want to connect one of our lugs. Let's see, our black, our black probe to a ground, and this would be negative 12 volts. So we'll just connect that and read, see what we get. And we're getting negative 11.18 volts. Eh, this is close enough. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and try the positive 12 volt terminal. And that is positive 12 volts, 12.15 uh, uh, volts. And then go ahead, and it doesn't really matter which ground you do. I mean, you could do any ground, and that will essentially give you the same reading. Um, we'll go ahead and do the uh, 5 volts plus 5 volts here. And that indeed, 5.11 volt. You always kind of want a little higher because there's not really any load on this. And then we'll do the positive 3.3, which is right here. See what we need. And yes, 3.382. So it definitely does work, and um, it is actually much more convenient than just uh, sticking some alligator clips. Okay, so I did kind of buy this on a whim. I was just sort of browsing the internet, and I came across this, and this was only five bucks, and uh, with free delivery from China. And it did take a couple months for me to get it, but um, I mean, it seems to work. It's cheap. I have seen the exact same uh, board um, between five to ten dollars, and you can just if you uh, the web the 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 websites come and go, but if you just kind of Google twenty four pin ATX uh, computer power supply adapter, um, you should be able to see uh, versions of this and order one for yourself. Now a couple of things since I ordered so quickly, I didn't realize is I was really thinking that these were 
banana plug um, connectors that you can just essentially plug in here, but clearly they are not. They're just basically uh, screw terminals and you, um, you bring this up and it's just uh, a threaded terminal and it doesn't even have a hole in it. So it's, uh, that, that was a little disappointing. Uh, it would have been a lot easier if it had a banana plug, but uh, in this case, I'll probably just take my alligator clips and just click, clip it to the terminal, kind of screw down uh, the screw there, and hopefully it'll be nice and secure and I could use a variety of connectors that way. Okay, so another thing to be aware of are these fuses. These fuses, actually all four fuses are 25 amp fuses. Now, uh, I've, I've read a couple of things about these things uh, online and you can maybe get fuses from 15 amps to maybe 25 amps like this. Now, that's okay from perhaps the lower voltages. So the three and a half volt for my particular uh, power supply runs at about 22 amps and so these uh, fuses might be okay but uh, my 5 volt um, runs at about two and a half amps so that is extremely th these these fuses are almost worthless to that and you could actually get too much current and so I may actually replace these all um, all four of these with a lower amperage um, uh, fuse probably around five five amps for my particular purposes. But you have to consider that uh, if, if, you, if you're gonna rely on these fuses, you may wanna change these out. And there you go, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit that like button at the bottom of the screen and even consider uh, subscribing to my channel. I will have many more videos to come in the future. I'll see you next time, bye-bye.